first frost of the season. I don't want it to get cold. Dang it. Morning everyone. We're gonna finish beans today. Just got 75 acres left, so if everything works right, nothing breaks down. We're gonna be done with that, wrap it up. And then after that, it's corn time. We'll be setting up an auger here in one of Dad's big bins. Either that one or the one at the end of the shed. And get rolling on corn. Don't you love grease days? Yeah. I need more power. How many days do you think we could go without greasing before we start having issues? <laughs> Depends on how good a shape it was when we started, I suppose. I'd give it a good five days and then... Really? That's day. it? Mm. You know, once it goes dry, it don't take long, I suppose. There was a salesman at the old Case IH case store in Plank that would trade combines every few years with a guy and he knew they never greased so he'd stop out at their field and grease it once in a while because he was going to take it back to the Jeez. <laughs> Otherwise it wasn't going to be worth much. These are some pretty progressive tires we got over here. Trans. We're working on the last 75 acres of soybeans that we have to do. So far, soybean harvest went pretty decent. Uh, below average yield. A lot of small beans this year. Towards the top, if these would have filled, these top 10 or so pods, if they would have filled out better, could have been something really special. But it just got too dry and hot in late August and all of September. 
but there's nothing you can do about it. We always get asked, well, why don't you just invest in some uh, irrigation equipment? It wouldn't work out out here because we don't have a giant aquifer. We don't have a big river nearby. You really got to drive about an hour away from here before you find any of that. And even then, there's not much of it. We live and die by the rain. And I feel like we got a wet year coming soon. Our year's coming. Just like if you're a Vikings fan, you know, this year sucked, but maybe next year. Just got to have that mentality. My dad texted me, asked if I'm dumb. I said, no, why? He said, my tarp's still closed. So obviously the motion to roll and unroll that tarp is by holding this in one hand, rotating it with the other. Well, imagine my surprise when my hands started getting caught and all cut up because there's this one sharp metal burr right here. So essentially I was just rubbing that burr around in circles on my hand. That didn't feel good. I was gonna tell you a story last night, but you fell asleep. But anyway, I thought it was kind of funny. When I was in Winnipeg, you know, for that AeroQuip thing, yeah. I was sitting by Ryan from How Farms Work, and he got up, went to the bathroom, came back, and he offered me some gum, because he was eating some gum. And I was like, yeah, I'll take some gum. He's like, man, that's the nicest porta potty I've ever been in. It's got all the stuff you need and good lighting and they even have complimentary gum in there. And I say, Ryan, did you just give me some bathroom gum? And he sure did. That's where he found the gum. Bathroom gum. I'm gonna move the semi to a gate closer to the part of the field we're working on. Can you come pick me up? Yeah. Are you gonna pick me up with a tractor or your car? Tractor. Oh yeah? No, <laughs> my car. <laughs>
fast. The turkey vultures are gonna get you. bushel 75 Woo. the whole field's not yielding that that's for true but it's still fun to hit these nice big spots Master let me run combine for one round. Thank you, Master. Thank you. We got booted. Is that a cob in your pocket or are you just excited to see me? Oh, this? Yeah, I think it's from last year. Hmm. Why'd you give me a comb over? I ain't bald. Well, look at your hair. You kind of have that. It's nothing like that. <laughs> it's just like give that. Give me a comb over. Come on, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah, there you go. It's nice having Tiffany around. She's been helping me move equipment today. We're just gonna get this header trailer over to the other side of the field by the other semi. That way all the stuff is in one area when we get ready to get out of here. In 30 short minutes, we will be done with beans for the year. We're using this Jeep on the farm. Can it be a tax write-off now or what? I don't see why not. Yeah, saving some money today. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the last pass of Soybeans 2023, and tomorrow we will start on corn. Like you've been working in the coal mines all day. And I never pick cotton. Hey, song of the day. David Bowie, Golden Years. Golden Years, pop, pop, pop. Okay. Song of the day. Beans all finished up today, and that's a good feeling. You know, the thing about corn is if it starts snowing, you know, you get an early snow, your header's not plowing through it. You know, beans, you got beans all the way to the ground that you need to pick up, but with corn, you got a little bit of a cushion there. Hopefully a few feet off the ground. So next video, we'll be doing corn. Set up an auger in a bin and get trucking. Love to see you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. <laughs> hey, I won. <laughs> you cheated. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Hey.